the saying, Love thy neighbor as thyself, is the second commandment according to the Christian faith. This implies that no one should seek their own good alone, but the good of others by extending helping hands to people around. We worship God and Christ is our cornerstone. And uh, we, since we base our own religion on service, we do service to humanity. We've been here for over 50 years, but we are not noisy. But we, we always make impact to the immediate environment. We believe in all life is one. That is why you must have a garden, you must have a pet, you must have uh, people you are uplifting their life. You have to go out and do, do, do. You show love. And when I say love, love in a real sense as ordained by God. And that is, love does not require any payback. You don't, you don't help people, not only on cash alone. You don't help people and start expecting something in return. On Tuesday, 25th of October, 2022, Irisville Chapel obeyed God's commandment by helping people in need of medical care. Irisville Chapel, popularly known as the House of Fruit, is a sanctuary located in the heart of Lagos, southwest Nigeria. As early as 9 a.m. on this day, members and medical officials arrived to the Lupeju Center for second edition of its free medical outreach. Without religions and ethnic discrimination, residents with various degree of medical needs benefited from the exercise. The medical outreach was organized uh, to make sure that we support the community. And one of the best ways of doing that, it, we know that many of them I do not have access to medical uh, 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 professionals, practitioners. Health checks, uh, when you get to a particular age, it's important that you do your annual checks regularly. And we know that health is wealth. You have to be healthy to be employable and to work. So the whole idea is within the community, let us provide some of our people the opportunity to have this health check every year and you can see the number of tests they're taking they're doing eye tests they're doing diabetes checks of diabetes they're doing um, the blood pressure they're doing all sort of we have the HMOs here and a number of medical doctors here so I, I think it's our way of giving back to the community but through a health program and it's very well organized working with the HMOs um, People here, they will have their medication, they will, have, they will be diagnosed, uh, they have medication here. If not, they will be referred back to the hospital. Uh, they have, people with eyeglasses will be referred back to the opticians. We will take care of everything until they are okay. And that's what we, we, we seek to do uh, annually. Um, some of us may be hypertensive or diabetic. It's very important if you are to always have a regular eye check. When you have such eye checks, we can be able to detect if there are things affecting your eye from your hypertension or your diabetes, okay? And another thing to also note is for anyone who has a family history of glaucoma, to also have a proper eye check annually or biannually, depending on what your doctor... From artisans to professionals, men... Women and younger ones came in from far and wide to the free medical outreach held at the Ilukbeju Recreational Hall, Ilukbeju, Lagos. 
I will sit on a leg. All were attended to by specialists. Ariesville Chapel decided to do this. This is the second in the series to reach out to the environment, the people in the community. Uh, we know a lot of them, for one reason or the other, maybe are so too busy, may not go to the hospital to check their vitals. So we have provided here for them to check all, most of their vitals, do their BM, BMI, do their blood glucose tests, do their BP. Even we have hepatitis screening here. And they are also being vaccinated. For those who are negative, they are being vaccinated. And we have the eye screening because eye, you know, eye without the eye, eye is the window of the of the body. So we also screen them for eye. They do the uh, visual acuity test. They do refraction and they do IOP. That's for glaucoma. A lot of people are living with glaucoma and they do, they are not aware. So it is also to create awareness of all these disease conditions that you know we live with and we don't know about. So. From this, um, from this uh, medical outreach, I believe a lot of them will get to know their medical, their health condition. We are here creating awareness on hepatitis B, which is very, very annoying. It's underrated. You understand? Anything that, anything that attacks the liver should not be underrated because liver is the second major organ in the body human system. So we are carrying out free tests free hepatitis B test so we are testing people for free then those interested in the vaccination we get it at a very subsidized rate hepatitis B is a very dangerous disease and is 50% um, to 100% more infectious than HIV it must not be underrated today's medical actress has so far it's been a success and we've been seeing a lot of some patients have been able to know their eye conditions like from my own aspects, which is the eye, a lot of people have been enlightened. Like some patients don't even know that they have glaucoma. They don't, they don't even know that they have cataract. But we've been able to enlighten them. And this is a very good initiative set up because, you know, there are, some, there are a lot of people that can't really afford good medical care, good health care. So programs like this help people to understand their health better and know how best to help themselves and what drugs, what medications to take. You know, so, so far, we've been able to help people diagnose eye conditions and give them um, best advice on how to go about their eye. According to the World Health Organization, about 100 million people are pushed into extreme poverty each year because of out-of-pocket spending on health care. And at least half of the people in the world do not receive the health care services they need. You notice... Uh, any sign or symptom with your eye or your body or whatever, you, the first thing is to go see a doctor. Um, Self-medication isn't actually the best thing. That is what we really practice in this part of the country and unfortunately it's not really helping. So once you notice any sign, be it your chest, maybe you start feeling short breath or you're, you can't see clearly or something is wrong which is not you don't, don't just enter the pharmacy or medicine store and just get any medication you try and see a proper doctor to see you and diagnose the issue and get you treated fast because early detection is, is what it saves lives we are always telling them to be health conscious if you are negative take the preventive measure you can never be too alert in guarding yourself against these diseases it can come in any form in any way, through sex, through alcohol, through body fluids, how much can you do in guarding yourself? The only way to stop this um, spread of disease is by getting vaccinated if you don't have it. I would advise that um, on a regular basis, maybe at least once a year, uh, from the, I would even say from the age of 30, once you always go to the hospital, do all these tests, Routine, we call them routine tests. Do them routinely, and if there's anything you can be detected early enough, then you can, you know, there can still be like a cure or you can manage it very well. But at the late stages, you know, 
just like the glaucoma, if it's detected at a late stage, it may lead to blindness. So we need to continue to do all these tests. And on the issue of drugs, I will advise that people should not buy drugs anywhere. All these people that carry drugs all over the street, they call them charge or they just put a, you know, they may even be um, expired drugs or they may be drugs that are not compatible, that are not to be used together. And it's better to go to a registered pharmacy outlet and you have the right to ask for the pharmacist on duty. If you need to get any counselling, the pharmacist on duty should be able to do that. The Wolf stated that universal health coverage means that everyone have access to the health care services they need when and where they need them without financial hardship. And to change this narrative is one of the reasons the House of Fruits put this outreach up. This is our second year. The idea is to do it every year, but with every year to have partnerships with other people. We want to make it bigger and bigger every year. And to do that, you need collaborations with different organizations. There are two or three organizations that are in the pipeline for next year. We might even do one before the end of the year, but for next year, we want to collaborate with a number of other organizations. Um, if we all do it together, we work further. We do we achieve greater results rather than relying on just uh, Erisville uh, doing the same thing all over. So we want to reach out to as many people as possible, give as many people as possible the opportunity to have their annual medical checkup, no matter how small, and so that if there are issues, they identify very quickly, address, and it doesn't become a problem uh, in the future. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. And we're targeting, of course, those the less privileged, those who cannot afford it in the society, those are the people who are targeted. You know, we see that in our world, cost of medical, even going for medical tests is quite exorbitant. Many people need this service, but are unable to get it due to uh, exorbitant rates. So we've decided in our area where we belong to, you know, to assist in this way and manner. You know, in bringing our brothers and sisters in so that they can get these um, medical tests done, eye tests done, and, you know, go from there. Even this little, you know, number of people who are able to come here to benefit from this, I believe, you know, their wellness is my wellness. And I believe that, you know, that's just what it should be. If you are in a position, you should be able to give help to life. Not really help because everybody are helping each other. They are here, they are helping us. Because if they don't come, we won't get, you know, we won't be successful. You know, so I think that's more of what it is. Oneness of life and sharing love. The medical outreach include BMI check, blood pressure check, blood sugar diabetes tests, malaria tests, hepatitis B screening and vaccination, eye care screening and distribution of free eye glasses. According to Obi Diaka, she hails from Imo State, Southeast Nigeria. She said she got to know about this medical outreach through a family friend. A respectation was meant and she's full of praises to the organizers. I did the um, hepatitis test and I had the immunization given and then um, we did the malaria. Malaria was negative and then the, my blood sugar was okay too as well and then they just said I needed to lose a little bit of weight. Whatever they did here today it was amazing and I wish they could keep keep it up time after time because it's amazing to see the turn up here today. So they've done a great job. Thank you. Dayo Oluwole hails from southwest of Nigeria. His mission at Irisville Medical Outreach was to check his site and see if he could be lucky enough to get an eyeglasses. We normally do aerobics every day in this um, the hall here, um, outside the compound. Every morning, you know, about five times in a week. So I was here this morning and, you know, I was opportune to see the free medical they are doing for people. And, you know, I just said, okay, that would be a great opportunity for me to tap into it. Because I know I have um, my eyesight, you know, for reading. So I said, okay, let me just do that. Because normally I have no, I really don't have time to 
So I have to go to the hospital or clinic. So I just said, okay, let me use this as an opportunity. And that's how I found myself here. Other beneficiaries took time to appreciate the effort of the organizers for the act of philanthropy. I'm here for an eye test and malaria test. And I heard from a parent in my mom's school. And they said I have short sightedness and I need to buy glass. I heard about this uh, program through a WhatsApp program. None of my friends posted it. Immediately I make up my mind that I will come and benefit. And here I am this morning. I'm really glad that I uh, came area lay. I took number 10 on the list. I'm having challenges over my blood pressure that has been started this morning. Also my cholesterol. They have collected a blood sample which they promised to screen and send the result to my uh, email or two uh, messages. And uh, recently I got to, through a medical um, checkup, I got to discover that uh, my blood cholesterol is a bit high. So I've been be on a diet just to control it. But with this result, when the results come out now, I'll be able to ascertain how far I've gone about uh, the diet I've been going through for some time. But they should continue doing it for the masses because there are some people on the street that didn't have money to treat themselves. They have, they have no money. This program is good for them. I thank God for them and God will continue blessing them more, more and more. It's a great um, initiative. Free, I please, I know how much we normally do, just ordinary anti-malaria attacks. Uh -huh. And this, I think, I've done the malaria, the hepatitis B, I stuff and some other, which everything is free. It's a good initiative. For them to organize this, this program, uh, I know it's going to cost a lot. And they have a comprehensive and a very professional doctor to attend to. So I was so surprised for the test I did, you know, many things. And not just that, just check your BP and go, take parastamol. No, they want to know what, they want to know everything about you so that they will know what and what to do about it. <laughs> My message to them, I want to say thank you to them, that God will continue to protect and God will continue to give them that wisdom, even to do more. And God will continue to open more ways for them. They have done great. I encourage them to do more. There is room for improvement. They can do more because there are so many people out there which cannot. Have, people like me now, I'll be spending three, three thousand every month to go and do my medical, my sugar, uh, fasting sugar, the BP and the cholesterol at the a nearby medical center. But this is free. So there are so many people like that that are even living with the same condition, but to go out there and do it with their money, they find it difficult, or maybe due to ignorance or what have you. But with this program, there should be more awareness. They should introduce it out to more people next time. It's a fantastic one. It's very good for people to come this way, treat themselves, know what is wrong first. You see, diagnosis is very important. When you diagnose what is wrong, you know what to do. Then, if there's no money to treat it, you go out for those who will give grants. Eh? But if there's money, you go on and treat it. On the, on the other way around, this particular place now, they are helping people. It's like giving grants. So you come, they give you what is necessary to heal you in body, mind, and spirit. That's what they do here. And that's what's going on today. So it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. The hope is that as part of what we do as a church, we come out and we um, assist the community that we also reside in, ensure that um, free eye tests, free medical tests um, is given to the community, people who are less fortunate. Um, and then, as we always say, um, our good Lord said, in as much as you have, you also share with the rest where not a religious organization. Um, what we believe in is that everybody is a child of God, regardless of your leaning, whether you're Hindu, uh, Muslim, Christian, whatever you are, um, everybody's welcome. So as you can see today, we have Muslims here, we have Christians here, we have not asked anybody what you worship or who you worship before you come through. My message to Nigerians is 
you know yeah health is very important but love is most important you have to love yourself when you love yourself you take good care of yourself you make sure you take the right nourishment you take the right beverages and drinks into your system and when you are happy happiness itself is a medicine for longevity for good health when you are happy you have love in your hearts you find that a disease is far from you so my plea to Nigerians is that they grow in love for one another, they live well, they eat well, they drink well, they sleep well, they think well, and they love well. According to Irisville Chapel, its primary aim is to spread love as well as help those in need. And as promised, a continuity of this laudable initiative.